What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Spencer. Taking a look at my most recent Galaxy Eyes list. This is with the new support. Talked about this in my last video, but I do not use all the new pieces of support. In fact, I only use two. So, uh, some of them I feel like are just like more like win now cards in. The other one that locks you in the dragon is just like doesn't really work with how I play the deck at all. So, but these two cards do make a big difference. I mean, it does give you access to a great Ogni Negate. You do have to kind of build the deck differently than what I was doing before. Like the list kind of not fundamentally changes, but there are definitely some big differences. And one of those is I don't run Galaxy Soldier anymore. And because of that, I don't really run light hand traps. I kind of run some generic ones. So I'll go through the list. I'll show some gameplay and then that'll be it. Uh, this is Cyframe Gear Gamma and Driver. I do run these just because you do run the Horus cards and you really want that to go through. Uh, these are light monsters. So you can also change one of these to a level four. You're not going to be able to do both of them. I don't have space for Cyframe. Uh, the Omega, the one that lets you banish a card from your opponent's hand. And also, this is like an XYZ deck, so you kind of really can't do that. But at the very least, you can turn one of these into a level 4 because of Summoner. All you have to do is target a light monster. It doesn't have to be a Photon or a Galaxy card for that effect to go through. So it's really worth playing for me. It's also good going second. Three copies of Ash, three copies of Infirm, nothing too crazy. Two copies of Triple Tactics Talent and one Call by the Grace. So technically... You have like nine, ten going second cards. The Horus cards themselves can also kind of be good going second. They definitely can be, especially for weird battle phase type things. But yeah, three copies of M, M City. And I only run one copy of Hoppy. I don't run more of these because they are super bricky. Like the whole thing is like with these new cards and the reason why the, the deck kind of fundamentally changes for me is because like this is like, it's, I'm not going to say it's a brick necessarily. It's usually something you want to search. Because going first, like you have to have a dragon XYZ monster on your field to bring this out. So there's a lot of setup involved. And obviously this card's doing jack diddle in your hand going second. So you kind of have to get rid of some of these really kind of garnet type cards. And I decided like one of those was going to be like one of the Horus cards. Because obviously if you like open this, it's like bad. You know, usually. At least the very least you just can't use it. Uh, one copy of Photon Emperor. One copy of the new Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Primal. Three copies of Delta Wing. Two copies of Summoner. This is kind of a, one of the newer parts of my list. Not the most exciting change in the world, but I actually kind of am, especially because I'm not playing Galaxy Soldier. Like, I'm pretty partial playing this at two now. Just because you can also search it out with Photon Orbital. Everything is searchable, and also you need Graveyard Setup for this to be a relevant card. So, like, if you don't have anything in the Graveyard, it's just a level four vanilla, essentially. So, I, I am actually kind of happy running this at two. Three copies of Orbital. It searches everything. One copy or three copies of Jumper. Of course, like, you know, being able to use Immensity and then discarding Photon Jumper is very important. Uh, one copy of Ascended Sage and Rank Up Magic Utopia Force. This is a light XYZ deck, so it works really well with these cards. It's only a two card investment. It gives you three forms of interruption, which is really good. Three copies of 100. Just really cool combos that you can do. Uh, you know, you don't always have to send your Emperor, or you can send it later off of the Photon Dragon. But you can send Jumper. Jumper can get you the Monster Reborn Galaxy Zero. And if you have Photon Orbit in your hand, that's really good. Especially when you see Summoner in your hand. Three copies of King Sarcophagus. Nothing too crazy. And yeah, again, like, I've taken out Galaxy Soldier. Like, I'd rather see M-City than I would Galaxy Soldier. Like, especially, well, I don't know. Again, like, you, you can kind of do this however you want. Like, you can take out one of these. Or you can say, like, well, there's no, really no point. But the more times you see M-City, like, the better, at least in my opinion. And also, you can send cards like Ascended Sage back in your hand. That has like been very relevant. I think I will show a replay where that's a relevant thing. And then one copy of Transmigration. So let's go on to the extra deck. Uh, number 99, Utopia Dragon R. <laughs> it's like my favorite card in Yu-Gi-Oh! One copy of Cypher X Dragon. One copy of Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon, the original. So in any, any monster, you still can turn into this, which is really nice. Off of Galaxy Cypher. So the, all those cards that... You know, can't be destroyed by battle, or if they go, if they're destroyed by battle, like things like that, you can just get around them. And, you know, even like, you know, branded fusion, when you have Mirror Jade, you know, you just take it and it gets around that requirement. Hope Harbinger and number 90 Galaxy I Soldier, or Galaxy Ice Photon Lord, sorry. Number 23, that's is your Omni Negate. I've talked about this a lot, but yeah. Uh, one copy of Utopia Prime, one copy of uh, number 39 Utopia, Galaxy Photon Dragon, one copy of Utopic Sage, one copy of F-Zero, both of the F-Zero package cards. And then, yeah, I do run this card, like, no matter what, like, even if I take these two cards out because I feel like they're so bricky or whatever the case may be, and they're, like, not worth it playing in the end, I will, like, almost definitely play this card because it searches you a Galaxy or a Tachyon card, meaning 
that your rank eights are just so much better with m city and the other horus engine you can get it going like before yeah it protected you from hand traps but now it protects you from nibiru and it can search galaxy eyes cards which is really nice like to have that as a rank eight immediately searchable for a card to get your combos going number 107 you know this is really good like if he goes off right and you don't see this and you search it you know of course tachyon transmigration is nuts and i do put a full armor photon dragon so because i don't play three horus cards obviously i don't play giant trainer anymore and then i don't need felgren anymore either just because it's like essentially replaced you know by your galaxy eyes tachyon dragon and then this is good like even if you like steal your opponent's monster like you probably want to play zeus or something i don't really know what you would take out like you could take out the omni gate okay but i love this card but it hasn't been that relevant to be honest with you like i've never really been like oh man if only i had zeus maybe like once or twice over the course of playing like for a long time but i've used this card more it's also a big body four thousand attack which is really nice okay so let's go over some replays here uh this is against sword soul so a really good opening here being able to start with sarcophagus and then like sending jumper do this is like one of my older builds okay um I was running three at the time of the Horus cards. Not really too important, but like most of my list is pretty much the same. So, you know, being able to send that. He did have Ash Blossom, no biggie. Yeah, because I got in the Photon Emperor off the top. So it is what it is. And I can bring this back. I can go into a, one of my rank eights. He also has Forbidden Droplets. That's fine. I can still keep going. No problem. I get that extra normal summon off of the Photon Emperor. And I can go into, you know, Galaxy Summoner. I can use my regular normal summon now and i can like you know pretty much set up all my negation i can turn that into a level eight too to get like the most out of my end board i could have also gone for you know number 99 but this is pretty cool especially knowing that my opponent has one card in hand and i have like an answer for each of them yeah you're just gonna give up so i thought that was like you can play through interruption and i feel like it's just like getting closer and closer to like being able to do that kind of like on a regular basis I mean, these are just like, that's basically just like imperm now. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, so he did have effect veiler himself. And then I can, yeah, this is kind of what I was talking about a little bit. And you know, I can probably just send photon emperor. And that way I can get my extra normal summon going. And I can turn that into a level four and still get, you know, still have my plays. I have, a, you know, my own effect veiler in my hand too, which is nice. So I can go into F0 and also number 99. I feel like being able to work through one hand trap is like, you know, it's about all you can ask for when it comes to galaxy eyes. The first one, there was even more than that, especially when you get that extra card off the top. It can make all the difference. And just being able to, you know, send the Photon Jumper to the graveyard is so cool. You can search this card for follow-up next turn. Yeah, this is Voiceless Voice. Being able to, to steal monsters is so good. <laughs> That's pretty fun. Uh, let's just keep going here. This is against Runic. Probably start with Sarcophagus. Oh, no. Let's start with the Jumper. Search the Monster Reborn spell, and then I can send that to the graveyard. Now I have a, you know, Galaxy Photon card in the grave, so this can give me my rank 8. So I'm kind of off to the races now. Uh, for a hand that looked kind of funky in the beginning, I guess. And now I can turn that to Tachyon. So now I'm protected against Nibiru, and I can kind of continue my rank 8 plays. This is as good as an end board as you can get. Like, this is like the perfect end board. Because you're going to have literally every zone filled. So you're going to also have, like, the Counter Trap Omni Negate as well. So... This is going to turn into F0. I can use the Monster Reborn. And now I'm going into the Utopia package. So, of course, you can see, like, the new support does make the end boards, like, tangibly better. Being able to do that is really cool. During my opponent's turn. I can also search during my opponent's turn. Uh, the, I'm pretty sure the Jumper can also. So, you're just getting so much advantage. Like, even if your opponent outs your board, you're still able to do some really amazing things. Runic prank grid is so random. Like, I can't think of a more random thing. I'm just going to let my opponent keep doing stuff, you know? It's like, all right, go ahead. <laughs> like, you can use your runic cards. Like, you get kind of, like, really well equipped for this. Like, it has a pretty good matchup going second. Or when you get to go first against runic. Going second, obviously, is a whole different can of worms. This is against reptiles. So this is where the field spell comes in. Like I said, like, you can send back Ascended Sage. And it's just so much better this way because now I can kind of like structure my play like significantly better. So I can go into the orbital and then that can search me Photon Emperor. So now when I use M City, I'm like getting the most value out of that. And if that was Galaxy Soldier, like I straight up just like wouldn't have been able to do that. 
So he did have an imperm. That's no problem. Like I'm just so much well, like more well equipped to like have a better end board here. Get my extra normal summon, and I can go into Photon Dragon. I can go into F Zero. I can go into the Utopia package, and also you know I have Happy, which is also kind of nice. So and if anything leaves the field, I get three like two cards back to my hand. Like literally anything. Plus I'm already gonna have follow up because of the cards I bring out. You can leave this in attack position is like simply because it can't be destroyed by card effects. So like through the imperm, you know, I did, I do have at least three forms of interruption plus follow up. So he had like imperm, tripic, tac, ugh, tripic, triple tactics thrust. I can't say that. Talents and imperm. I'm still going to be able to like put up a pretty good end board and he's not going to be able to break my board. I think it's worth something, at least personally. To see something so silly like this. This looks like one of my older builds. I, I used to run like all white hand traps. But again, it doesn't make that big of a difference. Yeah, I mean, if you can search an extra name, and I guess I did like back in this time have an extra copy. And you can see like where it comes in. So like there, I definitely think there is a world where you can run three of them. You just have to know that you're going to brick more often because there's more bricks in the deck. But they, it, it can come in handy, as you can see. So it kind of comes down to a design philosophy, I guess. I can go ahead and send the Photon Emperor to the graveyard. Like I haven't, usually it's like the play, but I haven't seen that recently. Like in my, all these replays, I feel like I have it in my hand. And just being able to level manipulate, there's just so much flexibility, which I think is like definitely the coolest part. Being able to go into a rank four with a rank eight, or with a level eight guy is like so funny. There are even times like when you're playing like kind of pure, you can use Galaxy Soldier and Photon Emperor to make a rank eight. So a level five and a level eight make a rank four. I feel like that would make, break someone's brain. This guy's actually going to do a pretty good job of breaking my board. Um, yeah, of course, you want to have the answer for talents. Such a popular going second card. <laughs> this is actually kind of genius. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> He's running the Valiance field spell, so he gets to manipulate the cards in the background. That's so smart. I've never thought about that before. I think he goes into Baguska, but I'm like, I'm not exactly sure what you can do with that. No, he just goes for Heroic Challenger, and then he goes for Spriggans. This is the most random deck I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> yeah, I can like boost the attack, but that's just kind of funny. And then I'm just going to show a couple of last duels against Hero just for fun. I'm pretty sure this is about his... Like, this is what you're seeing right here is, like, is my final list. I played this duel pretty recently, if I'm not mistaken. He's going to be able to go, I think, into Plasma. And off the top, I'm pretty sure I get Imperm. But even if he didn't, I do, like, I still have my Horus card. So, again, like, against, you know, Skill Drain, Floodgate type decks, you do typically have an answer for that, which is always nice. This is gonna, I feel like this is going to take forever. I think he goes into DP as well. So he should have about as good as an end board as he could ever ask for. Malicious is the three now. I have no idea what that does. Other than give the deck an extra copy to brick, I suppose. I'm sure there's something you can do with it. And then there you go. There's DP. You get to pop your own card. He gets to bring that back during the next turn. So I'm pretty sure he's going to be able to do just about anything that he wants to. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Like, I feel like this already does have a third copy, really. Like, do you really need the third copy of Malicious? I'm not sure. Let's see what I can do to play around the DP. He's going to, like, let me use this card. I, I don't understand. Like, now he's going to use the DP, but it worked out for me. He's giving me a shot. The rest of my hand's pretty good. The jumper can search. That's just awesome. Like, being able to search sarcophagus and get an extra draw. It just, like, makes all the difference in the world. I'm pretty sure I know for a fact this is Polly. I think he said it. I can go ahead and special summon this now. I'm going to protect myself, like... Unless he negates this specifically, which he is. Like, he's forced to use this. I'm still not done, right? I still have plenty of gas in my hand to keep going. Like, more than enough. Yeah, I can go ahead. I think I just... I need another level 8. Oh, maybe I... Yeah, I was going to say... I thought I didn't have Photon Emperor, but I guess I do. Jeez. Uh, there goes F0. So, even, like, through all my opponents, like, interruption, like, I'm... Here we go. Here comes Cypher. Like, this was a big guy, and now I can just, like, straight up get over it. So, that's pretty cool. I couldn't attack. I'm pretty sure one of these has, like, attack restrictions, but 
yeah he's gonna go for dp i'm gonna go ahead and steal that i have transmigration which shuffles it back like an, an incredible like literally an incredible omni negate oh and, and, and that's a big reason why i wanted to show this too like yes it can be activated from the hand if you control tachyon but it don't like their only like actual requirement like to use the negate is like controlling a galaxy eyes monster so i obviously controlled the original so being able to get rid of the dp without destroying it is really amazing such a good counter trap and then last, this is the last duel. Um, yeah, seeing this in your hands a little bit awkward. Using your normal summon on jumper is also not typically what you want to see. But, yeah, like, even if you open it, and especially in this deck when you're not playing, like, Fenrir or anything like that, like, you truly, truly can just start your plays by, you know, special summoning the ZS Ascended Sage. So I do have uh, follow-up. I do have two forms of interruption. Not the best end board, and it was super poly. Jeez. <laughs> I knew what he had in his hand, actually. That's right. I had I did triple tactics talent. Like, literally, that was Lakari. He drew Super Folly off the top. I should have put that in defense position. That was just kind of dumb of me. Like, I actually don't know why I didn't do that. But, again, like, being able to search follow-up is huge. Otherwise, like, most times when I play combo decks, like, it's like I'm putting it all out there. And if my opponent breaks my board, I'm kind of dead. But in this case, like, I can really, really keep going. All of those because I, like, searched from, like, you know, making my plays correctly. Yeah, and you can even, that's just obviously, like, a really cool thing. Like, this springs back a Photon or a Galaxy Eyes monster. So, this card can Monster Reborn your Photon Lord or your Hope Harbinger, which is nice to have that flexibility because both cards can be used from the graveyard without material. You know, Photon Lord, you know, puts one as material, and then Hope Harbinger is just, like, literally a spell negate. It doesn't need any material to do that. But yeah, that is, that's my coast, my most current list. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Other than that's going to do it for today's video, and I will see you guys next time.